Hey, Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading for May 6th to the 13th. I am Charlene Lizette. Let's dive in and see what's going on for you, okay? We have that new moon in Taurus happening on the 7th, and Taurus is your opposite sign. And when we have an illumination of, of, of an opposite sign um, in astrology, the opposite sign will naturally um, feel it, okay? Because especially if you have any planets in Scorpio, which you would if you're watching this video, um, the sun, the moon, uh, Jupiter, Uranus, and Venus may be an opposition of these planets in your natal chart, astrologically speaking, and this will influence an aspect of your life um, more predominantly than it would for people who, like, say, don't have an aspect happening astrologically. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven it was really interesting too because when i was doing the other readings there was this very um uppity energy like it was like happy and go lucky and like la 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 and like rainbows and lollipops and gumdrops and skipping across you know the land and then as soon as we moved into scorpion energy as soon as i started sitting with the scorpion energy i felt the, the way i can explain it is like come back here sit here here, be here now, Charlene. That's that's what I got. And so I don't feel like anything bad's going to happen this week. That's not the vibe at all. What I am feeling is that big decisions are happening. Big ones. If you're like a Scorpio rising, even bigger ones because this whole, these, sorry, I feel like I have hair on my mouth. These five planets, okay, that we currently have um, in Taurus uh, are, are going to be in your seventh house. The seventh house is the house of partnerships. It's the house of business contracts. It's the house of contracts in general, romance, okay? When we look at these, um, these aspects in your chart, or in your chart, in your reading here, one thing is for certain, this idea of being up in the clouds or like, da, 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 everything's great. It's like, there's like a, no, it's time to be serious now. Seven of cups, ace of swords, it's time to be serious now. You have to make decisions now. You have to look at the path forward now. You have to understand that you need to get clarity in parts of your life here. You have to understand what's going on. You 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 can't be in la la land anymore. Okay, that's the vibe that I'm getting very very predominantly. Even like your whole reading right now feels like I'm I'm getting uncomfortable. I feel like I'm distracted. So there's this big message here about like what is creating additional noise in your life that's not helping you, that's not serving you. We have abundance here, which makes a lot of sense because Taurus is all about money. Taurus is all about values. It's all about possessions, financial, material wealth, okay? It's about self-love as well, a beauty harmony. It says, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire into this uh, uh, reality. And then we have the seventh house, which I told you, like, I, I feel like a lot of you have a lot of stuff going on in your seventh house, whether it's in your natal chart or right now, because you have Taurus running, ruling the seventh. The seventh house is your relationships. It's your partnerships. It's your business contracts. It's opportunity for you to get into agreements or spiritual unions or unions of sorts with other people. And that may very well be highlighted or illuminated. For some of you, there is this indication. And also Taurus rules the throat. And speaking, and do you notice how I keep going after my mouth? Like I, I feel like I literally have this big thing on my face, and I don't, I don't think I have anything, but I feel it. And so I wonder if a lot of you feel like you can't talk. You know what's that? Is it that Batman movie where that guy has that like mask thing on his face? You know what I'm talking about? I feel like a lot of you feel like you have a lot to say, but you gotta bite your tongue. This is really interesting. The more I sit with this energy. I almost feel like you kind of have to defend yourself against somebody, but you're not that you're afraid, but you also have to, what's the word I'm looking for? Maintain the peace almost. It's like, it's like sleeping with the enemy almost. Oh, whoa. Right? Seven of Wands is fighting. It's standing up for yourself. It's defending yourself against people that are oppressing you, limiting you. Eight of Swords is feeling mentally stuck. Right. And then we have the hanged man. Really interesting. Soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. Source is saying you're going to have to get a little bit uncomfortable here. Okay. I think I said this in the last Scorpio video we had where I said, if 
if there's one sign that people should not mess with, it's Scorpio. Because Scorpio, Scorp you think that you're ahead of Scorpio and Scorpio's like, no, I'm 20 steps ahead of you, babe. Like, you don't even see Scorpio energy coming until it's come and smack you in the face with a hanged man here source is saying introspection self-reflection you will know when it is time for movement this week and you will know when it's time not to move you will know when it's time to just let your adversaries show their cards show their face and you poker face page of swords three of wands you will know when it's the right time to strike you will feel it in your gut when it's the time to strike, you will know when it's time for you to go after this thing yet that you desire. Okay. We're going to dive into your love reading. Now let's take a peek and see. No, nope, that's not the love cards. Let's take a peek and see what's going on in love. Know when to speak and know when to not speak. That's your best friend this week. Okay. We got romantic feelings. Yeah. And even priestess priestess is all about tuning into your intuition. That's the amulet you got right there. Okay. It's blue lace agate and moonstone. No one to speak and no one to not, you don't need to speak, you know? Okay. Let's see romantic feelings. What's going on here. We've got the five of pentacles, passion, queen of swords. This could be the one. Oh, wow. And nine of cups. Some of you are revealing your emotions and your feelings to somebody, but that means you got to let go of your ex. And I would not be surprised if your ex still thinks that there's a chance here. Maybe your ex is one of those people where, you know, not that you're afraid and I hope that you're not right, but they're just that type of person where less is more when it comes to communication. And maybe you're still like talking to them or, you know, you, you've had some type of interaction or maybe you have kids and, you know, you finally met this new person and you're wanting to uh, bring this new person into your life here. My suggestion for you would be when it comes to your romantic feelings, feel your feelings, but be logical, rational, practical, um, be very analytical, a detach from the emotion, there will be a time for you to be emotionally invested in this connection. At this current moment, Scorpio, you would benefit tremendously from acknowledging and recognizing whether or not this connection has the capacity to be the right business connection for you. Remember, marriages are business contracts straight up. So you're either going to make a good business contract, or you're going to make a shitty one, right? And so there's this big revelation here around how to handle these situations that are happening in your life with tact, with grace, but also being cunning. Be scorpion in nature, okay? Be mysterious, be the detective, know when to make the moves in silence, in the dark, when people don't see what's happening, all right? I'm going to pop the video here about the new moon in Taurus. If you want to work with me in any capacity, it's all in the description box below. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. We will see you later, alligators. Peace out. Bye.